Once upon a time, there was a jillionaire playboy who was blown up in a tremendous explosion. His brain survived. Stomach too. And was attached to the body of a stupid circus bear. I am that brain. My name is Hector Concarne, and I will one day rule the world! <laughs> visit an old friend of mine, and to have a look at a new secret invention. Pull up to the island slowly, Max. That's right, baby. I'll save you back. Nice landing, son. I'm proud of you. Let's go! Dr. Gastly, my old friend. Howdy, Dr. Courage. This is my son, Max. And who's the furry-looking weasel next to you? Oh, that's just my stepson. Dick. <sighs> Real son, Rick! That's nice. Welcome to Bunny Island. This is my lab, where all my work is done. This way, gentlemen. Nice curtains. Shoo! <laughs> Go away! Rascal? Rascal, where are you? Now. The moment we've all waited for. May I present the War Machine? So, what do you think? I painted the mean eyes on it myself. I just can't believe that you would even create something so destructive. Have you forgotten everything I taught you? I do feel guilty most of the time. Oh well. Guards! Could you do such a thing? When did you become so evil? And to answer that question, I am responsible for that. Hector Concarne. We meet again, Dr. Courage. <laughs> I should have known. It is very fortunate that you're here, Doctor. Now you can help Gasly finish the war machine so I can dominate the world. Absolutely not. There's nothing you can do to make me change my mind. No, nothing. I won't help you. Okay, okay. I'll do whatever you want. We're not gonna make it, are we? Nope. Sure won't. He'll probably torture us first by sticking huge, sharp needles into our eyes, and then tear off all our skin and feed our faces to rabid pandas! What? I don't want to be fed to pandas! <laughs> Rascal! We're trapped in here, boy! We need you to get the key! They're over there! Ready, boy? Go get the key! What are you doing? Give me those keys. Hey, I can't see. Good job, Rascal. What happened to you, Dr. Gastly? When did you become so bent on taking over the world? You don't understand. I was young. I was in college. I didn't know any better. Besides, Hector's not evil. He's just misunderstood. Wait a second. Why didn't I see it before? You want to smack lips with the brain. Mm. <gasps> I do not. not. I, I, I gotta, I gotta go. Uh, what the heck is that? What? <laughs> 
Dad! Max, you're safe! Oh, what about me, Dad? I was your firstborn! All I want is a little recognition! Please, hurry, rascal! Thanks, boy. Ready to go, Dad? Sure am, Dick. It's Rick! The prisoners have escaped! Scar! What's going on? We've detected Dr. Courage in the basement, trying to make his escape. Dick? Uh, Rick? There's only one person with enough courage to drive us out of this danger. They're getting away! Release the frogmen! Time for this, Nick. It's Rick! Now, hit them with everything we got. We are at full power. They fire at will. That's it. I'm driving. I'm gonna make you proud, Dad. Another plan down the toilet. I'm gonna make you proud, Dad. Sheesh. Supreme Leader, what is it this time? What is what? Your brilliant new plan. Patience, my dear Scar. All in good time. Oh, let me guess. A hypnosis beam? No. Robot killer shrimp? No. I'm sure it will just end up being another disaster anyway. Aha! There it is. All will be revealed momentarily, General. Welcome, gentlemen. I have just completed modifications on the Temporal Confabulationator-izationizer unit. And what exactly is that? That, General Scar, is a one-of-a-kind, custom-built, state-of-the-art time machine! Oh, how original. This is the time control console. It has pretty buttons and dials. We shall program the machine to return us to the past. So we can stop my body from being blown up! I have a better idea. I shall go back even further than they do and stop Hector from ever being born. <laughs> uh, I was just remembering a naughty limerick. Yes. <laughs> Major Doctor, I thought you said this island was uninhabited. It is. Then, where is that smoke coming from? Hey! This is a no-smoking island! <laughs> this tasty stew wasn't here before. At last! We've been waiting for you! <gasps> and so, we activated the time machine, and we went back in time, 30 years. It worked! Oh, 
Yes. Yes. But Scar was too stupid to bring the jet back with us. We've been stuck here for 30 years, waiting for your arrival. <laughs> I've been wearing the same underwear for 30 years. <laughs> but we have a jet. We can take you home with us. No, we're happy here now. Coconut farming and <laughs> raising our baby. <laughs> Excuse me. So, you and the chief? That's right. Along came our little bundle of joy, Destructicus con carne. Aww. Oh, it's got quite a grip. <laughs> Are you thinking what I'm thinking? If you're thinking that you hate everyone and everything, then yes. No! Our plan! Go back in time and erase Hector from history. Shh! Keep your voice down, old man. I could work the controls and send you back to knock off Hector. That's not a bad idea. <laughs> <laughs> Are you ready, General? All systems go, General. I will now activate. you not to mess with my fathers. It's Destructicus, and he's all grown up! Old Scar here has been tampering with the equipment. Who the heck is that? Destructicus. Well done, son. Son! The time machine must be destroyed. Stand back, everyone! How did you get here, honey? I invented the time machine wristband so I could come back in time and save my fathers from old Scar. You could stay here with us! I must go back to the future, Mother. They need me there. Goodbye, sweetie. Goodbye, Father. Goodbye, son. Goodbye, other mom and dad. Goodbye. <laughs> See you in the future. The sour boy. This is ludicrous. I'm so confused. How could they possibly have a baby? The miracle of love, Chief. Gosh, move. Let's go home. I could rebuild the time machine, Chief. No more tinkering with the time travels. It's too dangerous and confusing. There they go. No strange after effects from the time warps. Can't you help us? We are lost it. And Scar needs to go potty. Uh, I hate time travel. underwear for 